Hey guys, and welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. We're going to be doing an updated uh, farming guide for your Digicash. Okay, so this currency, for those who are new, this is the currency that we convert into tickets so that we could summon in the limited banners or limited, you know, op banners or weapon banners or any banners that we have in the game. Digicash is going to be used and converted to tickets. There are tickets, by the way, that, you know, the game gives out. We'll go to that later. But first and foremost, I will be sharing with you guys a file in a while. The file is going to be available in the description of this video. It's going to be a summary of all the things that you should know. Basically, the summary of what we're going to be talking about is listed there. I'm just going to be going you, I'm just going to be letting you or uh, taking you through the game on where to find them so that you won't get lost, especially if you're a beginner, you don't know where they are. So this is the guide for Digicash farming. By the way, guys, if you find my guide um, helpful, please do subscribe to the channel because again, this helps the channel a lot. Um, for those who are, you know, uh, beginners, I'm going to be putting out a series of guides for you guys. I know a lot have been coming into the game right after anniversary and now with the summer patch. So I'll be, I'll be putting out tons of beginner guides so that you could be familiar with them and at least guide you through and let you decide whether if you're going to stick with being a free-to-play or if you're going to invest in this game. Okay, without further ado, let's uh, go start off with your tasks. Your tasks are these. You have daily, seasonal, target, and main story. So if we go to our file this is the file that i that i was uh meaning to um mention to you guys or um discuss with you so this one is just a summary of all of those happening in the game so the monthly these 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 drop monthly so you'll be able to um at least predict on what are you going to pull plan ahead of time because if you're free to play of course you won't get you won't be guaranteed um the operative pity every month we're gonna discuss that later as well so um as you can see here going back so this is a task under its daily seasonal target and main story so this is it so under that task for daily daily you'll have 50 digicash as long as you complete your daily task uh, 30 days then it's going to be a total of 1500 the weekly task of course is going to be weekly so times four so this is already multiplied by four a total of 1940 the seasonal um, we have here seasonal so this one um this averages 12 days or right just before 14 days that is why i actually um put it here at at uh, two times in a month so this is already times two okay so total for your monthly task that recurs okay that recurs is 4880 take note that um main story is actually one time we're going to go to the one time digicash farming as well we're starting off with monthly so that you guys can appreciate it more okay so if that is our fixed task so daily weekly seasonal next is going to be your monthly limited event so your monthly limited event is actually this one so the summer event the summer event and other monthly limited events are kind of the same in its output um this is not um this file here is not going to be i i, I want to say a disclaimer now it's gonna not gonna be an, as accurate as uh, the other events i'm just it's just an estimate more or less on what we get for the monthly events i haven't tried um comparing events actually in the past so this is the first time that I'm I'm actually tallying all of the things that we get. So the operator trial here for the monthly limited is trying out two different operatives. 
So if there's only one, it's definitely going to be 20. So the tasks for the monthly limited is 990. Mecha area is the event, is the small event within the big event. Okay, endless battle is 200. Island frenzy and containment protocol are still locked. That is why I cannot, uh, you know, assume how much they're gonna give or if they're gonna give Digicash. And Azure Paradise, I already completed. It's at 820. So, okay, with the monthly limited event or patch um, uh, available every month, let's just assume that it's gonna be around 2,130. Probably it's going to go up because I don't have Island Frenzy yet and Containment Protocol. I'll update this file. You guys just bookmark this file. I'll update this file as soon as it's available and probably compare every event. I'll update this for every event on how much do we get per monthly limited event. So with that said, with that, with the assumption that this is what, what they give every month, you get 2130. Okay. That's 2130 in Digicash monthly. Okay. Give or take, give or take. It's not um, the, the, the give or take is going to be on the monthly limited event. Okay. For the summon tickets, there are a couple of sources that you can farm monthly. I included it. I included it. I included it here because definitely your Digicash, I assume that you're going to be using it for summons. So, Neuronix, every time we get a. Um, a new operative either one or two right now i'm assuming this is going to be one only so that is why this is three normally we only get one right it's just that we have a free operative coming in after one week that this is going to be six for this month only but next month it's just going to be one so um the regular banner ticket it's going to be three there provided that you open all of your neuronics so I think there's going to be six. Okay. So you're going to be getting, um, well, every, every month we do get, get a new op and therefore we get new neuronics to, to level up. And we have three, at least uh, regular banner tickets for every month. Okay. So shop circulation hub quality rationing. Okay. Let's uh, go and check that out. The hub. Okay, circulation rationing, quality rationing. This is it. This refreshes. This refreshes every 30 days. So you get as long as you summon uh, and use the the pink rationing code, uh, you'll get a lot here, definitely. So it's enough really to get you five of each, five, 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 five. Okay, and more. If you do summon a lot so going back so that is why I have five here this is you know guaranteed monthly as long as you have the currency okay so five limit five limited banner five regular banner these are for the ops and five limited weapon and five regular weapon okay so daily check-in monthly so our daily check-in monthly is uh, here okay daily check-in is this just want to show you and we only get one regular banner and one regular weapon and 100 digicash for the whole month okay uh presence patrol which is i think newest uh, is gonna be these so if you do consume presence you're gonna be getting rewards here and part of the rewards is going to be a limited banner uh limited banner ticket and a limited weapon ticket plus 150 digicash so this is monthly provided that they continue the presence patrol okay so total for the tickets is six limited banner nine regular banner six limited weapon and six regular weapon plus the 250 for these for the bunch here and in the um inbox you do get random drops take note this game is very generous so if you are just starting out let me go to the inbox this is what i mean inbox here so when the like for example here enya so enya sends you this is just very random sometimes so there's no schedule this is from akasha 
This is from Marion. This is from Mauxir. Again, these drop randomly. There's no schedule. It's just they're very generous in giving this out. So, with that said, let's go back to the file. So, random drops, I cannot equate for that. It's going to be different month to month, but those are bonuses, actually. Total, all in all, we get 7,260 Digicash. Okay? This is equal to 45 summons for free. This is for free, guys, for free. And if you are going to be summoning in the limited banner, then that's 51. So you have free 50 pulls. Being a free to play player, free 50 pulls. If you pull in the 100%, you know, uh, drop, technically you could get a guarantee every other month. So you just have to schedule your pulls. You have a guarantee every other month to get the operative in the limited banner. Again, this is going to just be half of what you need, which is roughly 100 summons. Unless you get, you know, you get uh, very lucky and you get the operative that you wish for in 50 summons or 51. So this is for free, free to play. Basically for free to play. All of these numbers I will share with you in the comment, the sorry, not comment section, the description of this video. Okay, we do have one time Digicash farming. I'm not gonna go over this because um, these are part of the game. So, target, oh, I'm gonna go over this. Um, target is part of task. Main story, of course, is going to be this one uh main story so this is one three then you have paradoxical lab the lab is uh here uh no here but this is it so the lab is one to ninety operation combat training uh combat training is in operation so this is it uh the farthermost then we do have underground purge abandoned area so this one here this is one time up to 14 stages then we do have tactic evaluation which is two four which is this one this one is 12 stages all in all star master is not 950 this one uh recently not recently a couple of months ago this became permanent uh, then you have base, you have your uh, view story. Each of the, um, let's go to the base first. Each of the ops have their own story. So if you want to view uh, one of them, let's say, for example, if you, if I want to view, who, Freesha. So if you go to Freesha, uh, she is in the room, invite the room. Then if you talk to her, no, 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 don't sit down, dude. <laughs> talk, dude, talk. You have view story. Each of these are 50. Okay. Let's have to increase the affinity for a specific operative. Okay. So also the base comfort level rewards are actually here. No, 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 not that one. This one. So this one is the comfort rewards. It's also one time at 1-3. So at 60, 940. Basically, you're gonna have to farm these the whole. I haven't even finished some of these. So again, it's going to be a total of 60, 940. So and an add on to your monthly Digicash. Okay, crucial. If you guys are interested in spending just a little bit every month, just a little bit. You have, you know, you have a little bit of budget. I would encourage this one. Only this one. The employee benefit, which gives you 3,000 Digicash, which gives you an additional roughly 19 pools, 20 pools. So that brings you to your monthly pools of up to 70. 
53, 51 free, plus 19. Yeah, that's 70. 51 plus 9 is 70. So, uh, what is employee benefit? The employee benefit is actually... Uh, hi, Katya. <laughs> employee benefit is actually the quartermaster, and it is this. So, you get 100 right away at 300 right away you get 90 daily plus you get these these babies here the, this is for the skin there's a shop for skin these are just extras but i'm here for the digicash uh so that's it if you're going to be a very very minimal spender and if you have four dollars 99 in your pocket every month or at your credit card please do get this this is worth it okay this is worth it Aside from this, um, the Battle Pass, it's only $6.80. I think it's at $10. Not sure. I put it here. Uh, I bought mine, but uh, I didn't. I forgot how much was it. So I think it's at $9.99. And the other two that if you are kind of in the Dolphin portion, there are 128-bit gold packs that uh, give you 10 limited weapon and 10 limited uh, operative banners. So I did this is at $19.99. Plus, uh, from, aside from the tickets, they get they give you Digicash. So this is it. Uh, not you. Oh, this one. So this one is the one for the op. This one is the one for the weapon. They change the name every update. So... I named it as 128 bit gold. And this one is uh, 128 bit gold as well. By the way, there's another one, but again, if you do have the funds, this one is also good because it has Digicash and it has two types of 10 10 um, tickets. So, but this is 328 already, which is kind of expensive already. But Overall, these are my recommendations. My ultimate recommendation is the employee benefit for those who are choosing to spend very, very minimal. Employee benefit is the best. Uh, best value at $5 at 3,000 DigiCash uh, for your account. So again, th that is it. Again, if you have questions, um, I'm available in the comment section. Um, also, guys, please be aware that I will have a stream tomorrow, 7 p.m. UTC plus 8. Check out my channel. It's there. It's a scheduled stream for beginners. There's a Q&A. We can discuss this tomorrow, plus other things that you have in mind, because I plan to discuss some of the things that you don't really understand as you came in the game, because nobody's really talking about, you know, the basics for this game already. It's more of who's the hardest hitting you know operative that we have but again i'm willing to guide you guys and let you learn all the basics okay so that's it again guys thank you very much for staying this far i hope you like this video um again please do like this video uh, if you find it informative and please check out the description because the link of this file is in the description of this video Thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.